Okay, welcome back Four Wheel Drive UK. Um, we've got something again a little bit different for you today. We're not out on the tracks today. What we've actually decided to do is we've come over to Combe Leisure in Rochdale uh, to disuse quarry, pay and play. So this is the kind of thing we're up to today. Um, there's lots of different tracks about. So we've got uh, a green route and a red route. One's non-damaging allegedly. So we'll have a quick walk around the cars and show you who's, what's what. Uh, we've got Dora, as you all know. Dora's back out with me today. Uh, after being missing in action last week. Then we've got Moo here in his 90. Uh, lovely truck here, lovely truck with Ollie. Hey, Ollie's up. still building his, see? Yeah. Taking forever. Next summer. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be a nice day out. Lovely truck we've got there with Moo 90. Then we've got Luke here in his, uh, in his D2. Yubi, first up. time out. Um, so we'll see, it's quite a standard motor this one. Uh, although we should be able to show you today how, how uh, capable a standard TD5 is. So as you can see, there's really very little been done to that one. Um, then we've got Ben down here in his D2. Again, Ben first time out, never been on the tracks, never done any off-roading. Uh, ben, might, you might remember Ben, who was mentioned in the uh, in the stickers. Uh, Thanks for the shout-out, guys. Over. So we're going to give Ben a bit of a run-round as well today. Bit of a baptism of fire for him. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, Ian and Lisa, Kaidai Camping, the managers in Kaidai Camping, you'll see much more of them this year. Um, you might realise from one of the other videos, I don't know whether they made a, a quick sort of um, appearance in there with their old Shogun. Yeah. Got rid of that. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> so we've now we've got a nice D2, uh, a couple of mods that they've had done, they've recently put in the, uh, the diff lock, a few bits and pieces, uh, winched, everything should be right. So, we're up for a good fun day. Yep. Let's see who can get stuck. Onward and upward. Right then folks, right at the beginning here I feel I need to make a, a little bit of an apology here for the lack of quality footage that we actually managed to get. Problem is, is we were having so much fun, we had plans for everything. Anyway, enjoy what's coming. Most of this footage is thanks to, uh, to Lisa and Ian from Kaidai Camping. Good job she was on the ball, eh? Ben attempting to go up the first Might little not see hill. Might not the smoke, but it's definitely there somewhere. Oh. Nice Come on, lad, you can do it. Keep an eye on the colour of that smoke from Ben's car. That's very significant as the day goes on. So as we said earlier there, Ben in front there. First time ever off-road, this lad. First time ever. Doesn't lack commitment, this boy. Fair dues to the boy, fair dues. And you'll see Ian at the back there. Now Ian has had some experience, um, but not majorly, not majorly. Um, fair dues to the boys. Keep going. So, bit of a quick get together here with all the trucks and the lads and the ladies. Uh, see what we're gonna decide to do for the day and how it's gonna pan out. So we've got Dora there, she's just going to have a quick spin off up the top to the high ground. Have a good wrecking. Poor wrecky there. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Graham's done himself a mischief and got Dora stuck. Ha <laughs> ha 
Would you say he was enjoying this? All right, come on now. Come on. I think this is far too much footage of this now. I think we're going to have to have a serious talk with the editing suite here, I think. Looks like Crane's got himself stuck. Hey, now, come on. Come on, leave me alone. Oh, the shame. The shame. Well, judging by Graham's ravey mavy light bar, Dora's not happy about a muddy bath. I don't know what all the fuss is about, look, look under there, it's just, just ever so mildly moist, that's all. And it being a quarry, wouldn't be right without some steps, would it? There's a bit, few steps here. So you can see now his door has come with it. Would you give a little try, give some difference here? That's with lockers, so that's lockers front and rear. And you see there's no mo no problem, no spin. Same here with Connor. So you both lock front and rear, straight up there, no problems. Now if you watch now with this D2, you see the front wheel spinning there? That's because he's not locked, but he has got a working traction control. Quite a capable car. Same here with Ben. Working traction control, no CDL, nothing locked, and you can still get up there. And then, though, obviously, it's a 90. Do you know, what can you say? So a little bit here, nice little low range fun round here now. Lots of climbs and hills and all sorts here. Ian having a damn good go there, look. And now it's Blue's turn. Can't see her having a trouble. Look at her go. Doesn't even flinch. So I was mentioned about the smoke. Look at the colour change. Black, now grey. Faster, faster! Give it some beer for that! Oh. A little bit of encouragement there for Ben just to get him over the top. Balls of steel. You're absolutely right there, Lisa. It's surprising, you know, exactly what it takes to put your car over the top of that hill there. Especially if you're not really uh, used to doing this. Unlike Connor here, obviously. Old hand. Done it millions of times. What has he? <laughs> now this is the boy to watch, Ben. First time out. So after a busy morning there, decided to go up and have a, a bit of lunch and we, guess who we bumped into? Only Josh, our number one viewer, uh, along with a so lot of the other lads there as well. It was great to see you all there at Coombe uh, and good on you all come over, say hello. Uh, it was really good, really good. There was Jeff there as well from Northern Monkeys. What a bunch of lads then. Just a shame we didn't get the video of, uh, of Dora nearly tipping over there, Jeff. But never mind. Anyway, like I say, it was great to see you all. Make sure you come back and see us if you catch us anywhere else. You can't deny that 90 is absolutely gorgeous.
So with the 90 getting through the water there, I feel a challenge coming on here. Dora needs to have a go. Unfortunately, I decided to take the deeper line. Just see what happens. Oh dear, oh dear, bad decision. Or was it? I'll tell you what was the bad decision, was taking them big tyres off. But watch this space. You watch this space. Kind of stuff like this has made us realise Dora needs new boots. Most definitely, Dora needs new boots. Go on, girl. The old girl made it though, eh? In the darkness for 40 days. <laughs> oh, searching for holy flames. A sign to light up the way. So can you help me out? Now you can't go to comb without having a play on the tires. Oh, we love it. So we've got Luke here in his standard D2 pretty much. First time out for Luke as well today. Um, bit of axle twisting going on there. Surprising, standard car. Just how capable these things really are. Well, well, not the kind of place you'd expect to find a traffic jam really, this. What's happened there, that discovery there, that lovely D4 has actually got a puncture. But anyway, gave us a chance to have a good chat with some of these lads here. Again, viewers from the channel. Um, and it was nice to have a chat. Then hey ho, who comes up the back? Not checking the track. It's Connor. Go on, send it lad. Don't worry about the traffic jam at the top. Shame we didn't have a picture inside the car there, his face. And that's what's known in show jumping terms as a refusal. Now another one of the sections here at Combe is all these big shaley steep climbs. See the top cameraman there, look. Lads enjoying this. It's been some good fun up and down here. Here comes Blue. Has he got his lockers in, I wonder? What do you think? Loves his lockers, does Connor. And there's Moo in his 90, or is it Ollie? Maybe we've got the passenger doing the driving, what's going on here? Nearly ran the cameraman over. Now then, this is a challenge. And we can see the 90 having a darn good go here. Mmm, bit too much maybe. Looks like it. One more go, go on! Well, I think that means Dora's got to have a go. Now it's Graham's turn in Dora. Let's see if she can put that defender to shame. Bit of a brown trouser moment there, Gray. Oh, dearie me. Now that was the brown trouser moment, Connor. I'm so manly! I'm so manly! <laughs>
Now you'll see here, I'm avoiding that puddle because not even five minutes into the pay and play, I drove through the middle and killed the alternator. Well done me. Oh no, another calamity of the day. Oh dearie me, what's happened here? Thankfully, it turns out to be nothing major. Just a stuck starter motor. Standard thing for these kind of trucks, eh? Soon have her up and going again. A little tug off there from Ian. And away she goes. No issues there for these Land Rovers. Land Rovers, no problems. So, all in all, been a good day really. Last bit of few splashing about and that down here now, a bit of gentle stuff. So again, thanks all for watching. It's been great to have you all back on the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the little bell, share it, share it to everybody, everybody. Get it out there. And we'll see you again as soon as we can. And if you like what's going on, let us know. Leave us a comment down below. Do you want to see us in more pay and plays? Is there a pay and play by you we could maybe come and have a look at? Just a little taster for the end there. Look at the colour of the smoke. We mentioned earlier the colour of the smoke from Ben's car. As you come and have a look down now. White smoke. Dead turbo. Oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, like I said, thanks ever so much for tuning in. It's been great having you all here. Make sure you're all back again next week when we'll have much, much more of the same. Thanks a lot and goodbye.